Hey everybody, good evening. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. What a difference a half a day makes. All of the rain clouds are gone. It is low tide right now, super low tide. I mean, incredibly low. An excellent time to do some shelling. Up here in Area 4, where I usually start in the morning, it's really windy. Hopefully this camera is not going to be blowing all around. But look at the beach now. This morning there was no beach. Look at all the beach we have now. Ah, super low tide. Super, super low tide. there is a new sandbar out here. This is where that barge has been pumping all the sand. Right out here. Let's go see what kind of shells it might have pumped up out here. Wow. This is all new out here. Whoa. The wind's blowing the camera around. Very hard to hold the camera steady out here. You hear that wind blowing? Whoo! I'm standing on the new sandbar, just off of Area 4. You can see there's another one out there, just to the north of me. The camera is not working well in this gimbal, the wind is so strong. difference compared to this morning. I want to walk up the beach and see what happened up there. Still pretty rough. Windy and rough. Beautiful. It has gotten a while. Let me get over here on the beach. I'm actually, I've got the camera in the stabilizer, but it's blowing back. It's blowing kind of like a weather vane in the wind. Here. There's part of a big, huge whelk down here, an old lightning whelk. See if the camera will, sit, will settle down here. I'm gonna head up the beach. As long as I have the wind in my back.
What a difference. Lots of debris up on the beach. Water came all the way up to here. Probably be some nice Nice shells up here at this high tide mark, too. Gosh. I'm gonna, there's another sandbar out. Darn it, somebody beat me to it. Crap. I wanted to go out to that new sandbar out there. out there. Well, that sun is bright. Wow. Just amazing how the weather, how fast the weather changes in Southwest Florida. From a tropical depression to what might be a beautiful sand here. This is another pile of sand that that barge broke out. They dredged up. This little sandbar out here. Just off of area four. Now I'm going right into the wind. So it's hard to keep the camera steady. Sorry. It's blowing the camera all around. There's a nice whelk shell. Look at that. Nice pear whelk. Beautiful, beautiful pear whelk right there. Definitely worth my time coming out of here. Let's see what else might have washed up here. That wind is ferocious out here. Look at that sky. Isn't that beautiful as we look back to the east? This is all new sand I'm walking on out here. It's all been dredged up from Wiggins Pass. Where earlier this week you saw that barge pumping the sand out. This is what it did. We're at a super low tide now. Absolutely incredible. And there's, oh, there's a piece of a whelk of a lightning whelk over here. Oh man, there's another piece of a whelk. Nope, this is a live whelk. This is a live lightning whelk. Look at this, folks. This is a live lightning whelk right here rinse him off. He's closing his trap door. That is a live lightning whelk. Look at the size of that shell. That is incredible. That is huge. That is a live lightning whelk. So we're not going to be taking that home. I sure as heck wish it was empty. That would have been quite a find right there. What a shell, huh? What a beautiful shell. That guy is alive in there. What a find, huh? I'm scared somebody's gonna take this home. 
lots and lots of little sand dollars. Oh my gosh, little sand dollars everywhere. All alive. Following me. There are all these lots and lots of little sand dollars all alive here. Piles of them. Welk out on the other side, onto the other side of the sandbar. The fighting chains. I don't want anybody picking them up. That always scares me when people see you holding a big shell like this. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna take him over onto the Gulf side here. He'll just bury himself down into the into the sand here. There you go, bud. One more look at you. What a beautiful shell. Live lightning well. Well, maybe we'll find an empty shell. for another little treasure. See the Mother Nature's I'm glad I decided to come out here. That was made the trip worth it right there. Thing over here, I think I see a big horseshoe crab on the beach. There's a big old horseshoe crab. I don't know if he's alive. No, I think he's dead. I think he's expired. Horseshoe crab. That's a shame. I gotta get back off this sandbar before the tide starts coming in. Water gets deep over there. Look at that sky. What a difference, huh? Half a day makes. Look at that. What it looked like this morning when I was out here. Get it down. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to cut back across here. The water gets really deep here. It was definitely worth walking out here. A few little fighting conks out here too. Not alive, gosh darn it. I was hoping they'd be alive. Empty shells. Some fighting conks. Well, I guess any place is as good as any to cut across here.
where the dredge that they've been dredging and pumping the sand all up here. Ugh, the wind's blowing the camera. Sorry, folks. Might wind up with a nice sunset tonight, too. What a treat, huh? folks out here taking advantage of the low tide doing some shelling it's super low tide look at all the find a worm shell while we're out here. Didn't think we were going to let you get out here by yourself, did you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> you missed that huge welt. Did you see I the one I had? That. Yeah. I saw that. This thing was giant. There's, um, yeah, there's probably a ton of stuff going to be out here in the morning. No, I think um, I think up at the high tide line, there's going to be some stuff. God, this thing won't. The camera's just blowing like a weather vane here. I can't hold it still. <laughs> I figured you'd be out here. <laughs> I just had a hunch. We got back from dinner. We got the notifications. Oh, is that what? I'm going to I'm going to unsubscribe you guys. You, you keep stealing all my shells. <laughs> Did you find anything yet? Did you find anything good yet? Really? This is where I was with Roy today. This is where those waves were pounding on the shore all along here. A lot of shells out here on the beach. Scott and Linda are down there doing some shelling. Just grabbing some worm tips here. But I really wanted to come out and check the beach, see what it looked like after the storm. And it is pretty destroyed here. Remember, we are at a low tide right now. Very, very low tide. So, a lot of this beach won't be here. But look at this. Look at how it all got washed out up there. Look at that. Wow. Now we got a full moon, almost a full moon rising. So that's going to make the tides even more extreme. Man, we're not having good luck here. <laughs> Holy cow. Boy. This is amazing. Remember where Roy and I were standing this morning? Look at this. Remember all those poles with the rope? Look at them, they're gone. The beach was out here, look at it. And it's gone. This is where Roy and I were standing. Look at that.
standing right about here. Up there, up that high. Look how much beach is washed away. Wow. And this is just a little tropical depression. Please, we don't want another hurricane. Somebody's already taking advantage of the tree roots. Look at that. Somebody hung a nice cockle shell here. Big difference from this morning. We go a little farther north. See what it looks like up here. Having a whole hard time controlling the camera. I pan out to the Gulf. The wind's really nailing it. It's blowing it around on this gimbal, just like a little weather vane. There's our sunset. It's probably gonna be a pretty nice sunset. Quite a few people out here with their baskets and bags doing shell doing some shelling. turned into a beautiful evening. Here's a piece of a moon shell. A little piece of a moon shell. Darn it. I was hoping to find some of these on the beach.
lot different up here. Sun starting to get some color in the sky here. Look at that. Wow. Gorgeous. Uh, come on, camera. The wind's just flipping the camera all around here. Sorry, folks. It's pretty fierce out here. Looks like it's going to duck behind some pretty heavy clouds over there. I'm going to get a picture before it's too late. Bear with me. I cannot hold the camera steady for nothing in this wind. I'm sorry. It's just wanting to blow all over. Got a little bit of color. Hey, there's nothing. Try to walk back up the beach, but I don't know if the how the camera is going to behave on the gimbal here. You're definitely not going to be able to hear me. The wind's going to be blowing right into the camera. Nice colors out of the east. Look at those clouds up there. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. end of day and it's starting to pouring down rain. Waves pounding the beach, tearing it to pieces. Look at that sky up there. Look at those clouds. Trying to pass these trees to get a picture of them. And I'll walk down the beach. Give you another look at the erosion.
Isn't that beautiful? That's looking to the east. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful back there. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm gonna take a picture, bear with me here. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna head back up the beach now. Kinda of behind some of the trees here. So the wind's not so bad right here. Beautiful. Getting the colors of twilight now. Sun still hasn't quite set though. I don't know if I'm gonna make it out here or not. I just got a message. One of my friends is in the hospital. So. Yeah. I hope so. Good luck there. All right. See you later. See you. fighting the wind here. Sorry folks. All the, every once in a while the camera just blows around in circles. It's sitting on top of this gimbal so it acts kind of like a weather vane when a big gust of wind comes along. But I think you get the general idea. It's beautiful out here now compared to this morning. We did find a couple neat shells too. That was nice. Glad I came out here.
Lots of people taking the advantage of the weather now. They couldn't come out this morning. Not so bad up here at the very tip of the beach, at the very northern end of the beach. Down at the south end of Area 5, the north end of Area 4, terrible. Terrible, terrible. Lots and lots of erosion. Where Roy and I were walking, the videos that I posted where the waves were smashing into the shore. That beach is gone. wind <laughs> blowing the camera. Look at those waves. Here's all the beach that we lost up here. The beach was out to here where these branches are. See these branches down here? That's where the beach was. That's, this is where Roy was trying to sneak around the trees. Right here. This was up on shore earlier today. Look at it. Look how much beach got washed away here. Absolutely incredible. Look at the trees just fell over. And then we come down a little further here. And this is where Roy was standing when I left him this afternoon. Over in here. Look at that. Look how far back the it's washed away. The camera doesn't do it any justice. It's unbelievable. But this is where all those poles were. Look at them laying on the ground with the rope where Roy was standing. Roy was standing out here. See where that pole is? He was standing out by the end of that. Look at it, it's all washed back, all washed out, all the way back. Yeah, right under the roots of these trees, these old tree stumps. Amazing. Kind of got lucky. Irma was inland. If it was out, if it was just along the coast, we would have had a lot more damage with Hurricane Irma. I mean, this is just the top of a tropical depression, and look what it did to the beach here. Sad, isn't it? But you know what? This beach, I always say, it comes and goes. It's always changing shape and size. 
Mother Nature will fix it eventually, somehow, some way. thankful to be able to be out here no matter what no matter what the condition Beautiful colors though out here right now. Even though the beach is a mess. The wind's starting to die down just a little bit. Boy, there is a ton of shells down here. It's getting a little too dark to see. I'm sure there's gonna be some great shelling over the next couple of days as the gulf settles down. Here you can see the north end of Area 4 and the south end of Area 5 got hit the hardest as far as the erosion goes. Beautiful twilight. Well, you know our friends Scott and Linda are going to be out here early tomorrow, shelling. It's super low tide. You can see these right out here. That's the new sandbar. That's the sand that's been pumped out of Wiggins Pass and pumped up to here. All out here is where they're pumping it. So there's actually a couple new sandbars. You can kind of see them. See it over here? It's getting kind of dark. Right up by wherever I would normally be sitting. There's the osprey nest right up there, up in the top of the tree there. See it by the tip of my finger.
is a big heart. It says love. I can't can't read it. Love ch Love China. That's what it says. Love China. Beach walk. <laughs> they were busy right in the sand here. I'm just about back to the boardwalk here where I started in area four. I'm gonna give you one more look out into the Gulf. It's getting pretty dark. Thank you for joining me. I'm glad I got to come out here and show you this. What a difference. You can never predict the weather in Southwest Florida. It's amazing. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. you're wondering what time the park closes the answer would be now it closes at sunset they give you about 10 minutes after sunset to pack up and get out so you can enjoy the sunset but then if you don't get out of the park they're gonna lock the gate and you're gonna wind up sleeping in your car until somebody comes and opens the gate they don't mess around here so when they tell you to pack up and leave mind the Rangers get out or you're gonna be stuck here Gorgeous. I'm gonna hop up on the boardwalk. You can see how high the tide came up today. There's probably gonna be a great line of shells all along this high tide mark, all up and down the beach. Those waves were pretty powerful today. I'm just gonna hop up, take a couple steps up here. Give you another look around before signing off. kids and their mom and dad. Looks like Scott and Linda trucking up the beach here. Beautiful. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great Sunday evening. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time, check out all of my photos and videos. When you find something you like, hit the like and the share button. Have a great night. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.